Hi there, thanks for joining me here in uh, Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, I'm just driving through traffic and passing a lot of um, lineups for fuel and lots of uh, uh, gas containers on the side of the road, people waiting to get uh, cooking fuel. Um, I'm uh, going towards Tamil, heading back to Tamil where I stay. Thanks for uh, inviting your followers. Thanks for the hearts. Um, so we've just we've been passing. I just thought I'd, I'd come back on because we're passing so many huge lineups of uh, buses and trucks uh, yeah, yeah. trying to get fuel and um, lots of uh, tanking. And these people are, as you can see right now, these people are trying to rush to get some cooking fuel right now. They're getting in the lineup here, and uh, people get uh, you know obviously are desperate and uh, are getting pretty aggressive as well, trying to get. Uh, uh, cooking fuel and um, you know people here eat pretty simply it's not a, a, a fancy cuisine a lot of people eat dal bat all the time is that right yes sir. and 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 that is basically you know steamed rice with a uh, cooked lentil and a vegetable or a, a few vegetables and sometimes potato uh, but uh, Bikish my driver is telling me that many people now are just cooking one vegetable only because um, it's just too expensive. They're trying to conserve uh, cooking gas uh, as much as they can. So um, this is a, a serious, serious problem here. Hello, how are you? Um, and uh, I, I just thought I should talk about it a little bit more. We've had an interesting day. We had an earthquake here and we were in Bhaktapur when the earthquake happened. And uh, it was a five and uh, my friend up in Sindhapal, Chuck Derek, Cowan was quite terrified because that's where the center of the earthquake was. And uh, we're just heading back to uh, Tamil now after driving around all day, visiting some of the villages that uh, I visited uh, during the earthquake crisis here. And and this is uh, actually, just see, this is another a big lineup here. Um, if you can see, I'm just looking through the back window of the car. Uh, another huge lineup for fuel. And uh, it, it causes uh, traffic issues here as well. Oh, you can still see some of the earthquake damage there. Well, um, this is the palace, right? This is the royal palace, and uh, there's still lots of uh, repairs that you know haven't begun yet here. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for following me here. And you can share the broadcast if you like. It's easy. Swipe the screen left to right on iOS or up and down on Android, or just tap the number. Um, just a short broadcast here talking about the fuel crisis. Uh, in Nepal. You're welcome. Hey, body, heart, spirit. Hi, Tracy. Um, so we've just seen lots of, uh, you know, this fuel problem is just right out in the open here. It's not, it's, it's, it's not hard to uh, see it wherever you are. Hi. And uh, we've just driven by so many lineups for gas and some people wait days uh, to get fuel and they don't get a full tank they get rationed maybe 10 or 15 liters so it's very hard to run a business right now very hard for taxi drivers like Vikish to make a living and uh, it's generally just just har harder to do everything so uh, this is the uh, U.S. Embassy on the left-hand side here. Uh, the, it's a huge fortress. And uh, we're just heading back into uh, Tamil now, which is the tourist. So I'll just keep the scope going for a little bit longer. Hi, UK. Hey, Bobby S. Vlog. Thank you so much for shares. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Please follow. Please follow Bobby. You're so awesome. It's going great. It's going really good. Thank you so much. Oh, no, no. So, um, thank you so much for following and sharing the broadcast here. And uh, you can see these kids here. These are kids that work through the traffic begging. And I'm not sure if they're working for themselves or somebody else. But uh, if you ever are in, in Nepal or in Kathmandu especially, Please do not give these kids anything. They have NGOs that are set up to help these kids on the street. 
and 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 giving them stuff is just encouraging them to beg it is not a good thing hello so um, if you ever visit any of these countries developing countries it's just especially children it is not a good thing to give them things it just encourages a lifestyle of begging so um, there are and, and as particularly in Kathmandu there are NGOs that are here that are looking after these street children and are doing the things to get them off the street and out of this and get them proper housing it's the same thing in India although you know it's it, 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 it can be a little bit of a different situation uh, yeah we just passed Garden of the Dreams that's right um, but uh, you, you know it, it, it's just in, in, in some cultures it's fine to offer something and you know if somebody is really old I've, I've given some really really old people here that are on the street I've given them things before given them money and that but children especially is just not a good idea it just it's it's just setting them up for a life of of hardship and begging so anyways that's my I'll get off the pulpit now <laughs> sorry about that uh, we're just driving through the streets here of uh, Tamil this is uh, the very um, center of uh, tourism in uh, in Kathmandu so if you ever come here it's a good chance you're gonna stay here or end up uh, eating food here whatever thank you I appreciate that um, and we are heading back so thank you so much it is uh, it's about 3:20 in the afternoon here in uh, Kathmandu on Thursday and this is my uh, last full day here and I'll be heading to India tomorrow so thank you so much for joining me thank you namaste from Kathmandu Nepal Uh, that, that's quite uh, that's quite possible that they can get uh, forced into that but uh, there are charities here NGOs that do help with this situation many of them here um, but it is it is not an easy life for sure thank you so much namaste